While I might not be able to save the world, the God I serve is well labeled. Good God from Zion. He is fine and familiar with the God I serve. Is it okay if I have your phone number? <laughs> I enjoy speaking with you too, Nathan. As far as my number is concerned, no. My God. I've never experienced that in my life. Lord, I'm so drawn to her. Alicia, I hope you're having a beautiful morning. Since I didn't have your phone number, I had to use what I did have to let you know that Garage I was... Garage got me real good with that. My heart is on lockdown, honey. But you shut your heart down to so many people after Raj. This is the first man who seems to make you smile a bit. He makes me smile, but so did Raj. Oh, so that's what we're doing now? That's what you're going to do? You're just going to keep comparing these brothers to Raj? What? What do you mean you're not into Star Trek? Are you serious? Hey, 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 listen, I get them all mixed up all the time. You have Star Trek, you have Star Wars, and you have Spaceballs. It's so many. I, I just can't believe it. I can't believe you put Spaceballs in the same category. The nerve of you. <laughs> I can't believe the sun is starting to come up. And we both yawning. Uh, before I hang up, do you mind if I ask you one thing? Mm-hmm. Can I pray with you before you go to sleep? And now more, a breakout love affair. God, I believe this is the woman you created for me. So please, Lord, teach me how to love her in the way she needs to be loved, Father. Allow me to be everything she wants and desires in a man. God, if this is as truly of you as I feel it is, make her available to me. And give me the wisdom to know how to be any and everything she needs. And most importantly, Father, teach me how to walk and grow with her. In Jesus' name, amen.
This is something I've never experienced before. Every time I turn around, I see another manifestation of the prayers of a godly man. He exemplifies every attribute I could ever desire. Father, He prays and covers me every single day. He is concerned about my spiritual being as well as my emotional being. We worship together. He does not talk one way and live another. I'm so drawn to him for those reasons. Well, I mean, he, he is handsome too, Lord. I'm just saying. But Lord, I am afraid. I'm so afraid to totally let my guards down. Help me in this area, please, Lord. Help me to receive the love that he shows me. And help me to give love without boundaries. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, did I tell you that I was uh, working on a major fundraiser for the community center? Oh, really? I think that's phenomenal. Is there anything I can do to help? Nah, I think this one has worked itself out. I was keeping it under wraps because it's a huge surprise for the city of release. But I can tell you, we're bringing Captive in for a benefit concert. Oh, really? Wow, that is awesome! You are definitely going to raise some major funds with her. And some of the most exciting things is Captive has agreed that we can use her services for whatever we need. And we already have about 30 volunteers. The weather should be exceedingly abundantly great that day. And we've already printed out flyers to start passing out in the neighborhoods. <laughs> I can't wait. This event is going to be awesome. Alicia, I can see it in your face. Something is wrong. No, I'm okay. No, Alicia, you're not. Listen, I know opening up fully is difficult for you. I know. I know you've been hurt. And I know your trust has been destroyed. But right now, I need you to open up and trust me. I see you when you daze off into your sad moments. I don't say anything because I want you to feel comfortable and I want you to talk about it when you're ready. But look, I can't let another day go by seeing you sad like this. What is it, Alicia? <laughs> That's it. There you go, Alicia. You don't always have to be so strong. You can let me bear the weight of the things that cause pain in your life. Look, you can absolutely trust me with your vulnerabilities. It's okay. I just, I just miss her so much. We were so close. Amber? <laughs> yeah. I know this is a painful subject for you right now, but you gotta believe me when I say, it's gonna be okay. We will get through this. I won't let you deal with it alone. She just left me. She left the whole family. Look, nothing can fill the void of a sibling. And I won't pretend that it's easy to conquer that task. But what I will promise you is that in every moment that you miss her, the God we serve will fulfill you and in a way that only He can. 
when you begin to miss her, Alicia, try to remember those good moments that you had with sister. Thank you, Dovey. You're always there for me. I love you. How are you gonna get your hair cut done today? What you gonna do at the top? You ain't gonna fade the size out or nothing? He's gonna leave it like it is. <laughs> How about we give you a George Jefferson? <laughs> Keep the twisties on the side. What's up, Nathan? You woke over there, bro? You got something new going on in life? <laughs> Man, look, all I can say is that God is good. Amen. <laughs> oh, cool. That's what I'm talking about. Right on, man. Right on, man. That's what's up. All right, everybody. I told you that we're here at WSKS. Had a big announcement for the city of release. Are y'all ready for it? I'm saying, are y'all really ready for this? I said, are y'all ready for it? Let me get that drum roll, please. Coming to the city. For a special benefit concert to support the community center. Release. Get ready. Captive is coming home to do a concert. And guess what, y'all? We have Captive live on the phone right now. What's up, Captive? What's up, Dizzy Dave? <laughs> yes, I am coming home to do this concert. <laughs> you know, I can't wait to get there. You know, we're going to roll out the red carpet for our very own. We miss you, Captive. You've been on the worldwide tour with other great artists. How's that been? <laughs> oh, man, it's been awesome. I'm still on tour, and life is very interesting, to say the least. But I'm so grateful for everything that's going on. Now, when was the last time you came home? What'd you miss? First of all, there's no pizza that can compare to release pizza. <laughs> Let's just be clear. But seriously, I miss a lot from my hometown. It will be good to get back and see some familiar faces and mingle with the people. Cool, cool. Can you tell us more about the Benefits concert? The Community Center, it holds a special place in my heart. I remember growing up and always helping out there with my family. <laughs> I actually learned to dance there after taking a few classes. So yes, I'm excited to come home and help raise money, you know, to continue the services at the center. Yeah, shout outs to Nathan Worthy, who's been serving as the center director for a short time. He's done great work to help turn the center around and provide programming to help the youth of not just the hollows, but release in general. Absolutely. There you have it, folks. Captive is coming home. Make sure you keep it locked here at WSKS for details on concerts and for a chance to win a pair of tickets, y'all. Thank you, Captive, for speaking with us today, and we can't wait to see you. Oh, for sure. Before you go, you know we got to hear from you. What's the station that brings the heat in music? You know it's WSKS 105.2. Thank you, Captive. Ah, oh, Dave, you're very welcome. You're not really excited about going home, are you? I am, but never mind. It's just a lot of things I have to work on. Um, are you coming with me? Oh, baby, you know that's not possible. I mean, come on, we talk about this all the time. No, actually, we don't. When I mention anything of the sort, the subject is changed or suddenly you have to go. Baby, come on, you're a celebrity. Cameras always flashing, people always tracking your every move. What would it look like to be captured along with you, huh? <laughs> That's almost hilarious given how many times we've been here. Where are the flashing cameras now? And the people tracking my every move. Tell me, Anthony. 
Tell me where are they? Where are they now? I'm not doing this with you. I have to go and I hope you have a safe trip home. You know I've never lied to you about anything. You knew what the situation was the moment we began this. So please do us both a favor and always keep that in mind. you need to do and say what no I can't say what I need to say <sighs> I'll never understand okay yes they will no maybe I should just do what I came here to do and say nothing No, you can't do that. Okay, but why not? Okay, it's been far too long. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Just stop by, see who I need to see, do this concert, and just go home. Yeah, home. But I am home. And Daddy always said, home is where you don't duck and hide from anybody. Especially, well, I don't know. I've been nervous before concerts and stuff. But this feels like... Feels like walking in front of the firing squad. No, I'm just gonna do the concert and I'm just gonna just go home. Okay, but you're hiding. You live behind this facade every day and this is the one place you come to, to hide. Okay, no, you can't hide anymore. You just gotta I cannot believe that I'm here now. <sighs> God, if I ever needed you, I need you right now. Okay. Here goes. Hello. 